solutions and applied mechanisms that are all newly designed. Engineering innovations regarding flexibility and balance control have increased ASIMO's agility in both the upper and lower body. Stability control that was first developed as a key part of making ASIMO walk autonomously has seen continuous innovation and has taken another big step forward with this model. The latest version of ASIMO can ascend and descend the stairs much more smoothly, something which is essential if we want it to be truly useful for people. For you and I, this is easy to do. We walk up and down the stairs without even thinking about it. But have you ever considered how much our brains have to work to calculate the movement that we take for granted? How many muscles we use? Walking up and down the stairs takes a lot of practice. For example, toddlers who've already learned to walk upright still need to crawl up the stairs. If you think back to the video we just saw and remember how complicated it is to make such a well-balanced robot with fluidity of movement. So you've seen Asimo walk in a very near human way. ASMO has the ability to predict its next movement and adjust its centre of gravity in response, ensuring it keeps its balance, just like you and me. <laughs> Advancements in the processing time and fluidity of movement that have been achieved with all new ASMO can be demonstrated by running. Innovations in mobility have taken place over many editions of ASMO, and Honda engineers have conducted extensive studies into the walking motion to determine the best way for ASMO to walk. And eventually, in a groundbreaking innovation, ASIMO was able to run. So now we'll demonstrate ASIMO running at a speed of 7 kilometres per hour. time cycle without any delay, absorbing all of the impact of landing instantaneously. ASIMO's step cycle when running is 0.32 seconds and its leap time is 0.08 seconds, which is again equivalent to a person jogging. So advancements have also been made in the area of communication. For Honda to achieve its ultimate goal of creating a truly useful robot, communication is a critical part of ASIMO's development. And since 2002, ASIMO has been able to verbally communicate with others. A 
Hello, everyone. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming today. Now, in a major development, Ornu Asimo can also speak in American and Japanese sign language, making greater use of the increased degrees of freedom in its hands. Hello, everyone. I study American Sign Language now. Thank you. Thank you, Asimo. So Asimo and, I, and I are now going to shake hands. Again, we'll put Asimo's eye camera on for this one so you can see what, what the robot sees. Let's shake hands. So of course, Asimo is a robot, so this is all down to its senses. But it's a typically human gesture that helps us to improve the relationship between people and robots. You can notice the delicate movements of Asimo's hands and fingers, and you'll also notice that if I move, Asimo will track my movement with its head. This is also a really good opportunity to demonstrate how Asimo can react to modifications in its balancing conditions. Thanks to the sensors in Asimo's wrists, it can react if I push it. Whoops. And again, if I pull it. You can see that Asimo is reacting autonomously to my actions. Thank you, Asimo. Thank you very much. We're coming to the end of the demonstration of all new Asimo.